Do you recognize anyone in this photo? Oh. <laughs> Those are some pretty big players you got there, kid. Dutch Schultz. Lenny Cohen. Moose Malone. These boys run all the rackets in Cleveland. The skirts, Duchess girl. Gloria DeMille. She was in pictures before the scandal sheets found out she was dating a gangster. I'm not too sure about these other two fellas, though. The big man's name is Ernie. You don't recognize the other guy? I'll be damned. That's Louis the Fish. Small-time hood, bagman for Dutch. Word has it he made off with Dutch's take from a booze run a couple of years ago. Took off with a cool ten grand. What happened to him? Well, he said he went to Atlantic City. He was throwing money around like it grew on trees. Blew the whole wad on women, booze, gambling, you name it. Word got back to Dutch and Louis disappeared. Ain't never been seen since. Everybody figured he was dead. He's not dead. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of crooks in this city that love to know that. these other men are. I hear you used to keep some pretty interesting company, Louie. What the hell are you talking about? Dutch Schultz, Lenny Cohen, Moose Malone. Oh, I'd be willing to bet your old friends would just love to know where you are right now. Where'd you get that? Never mind where I got it. I think we're gonna have that little talk now. Or do you think your new friends are gonna be able to help you now? You lousy fit. Do you know what you've done? I'm a dead man. Dead for sure. I'm a reasonable kind of fellow, Louie. All you have to do is talk to me and this little matter just blows away. Now where'd you get the invitation you gave Finster? Shh! Not here. Are you crazy? They'll see me. They'll know. Who'll know? Oh, what's it matter? I'm a dead man. Dead for sure. I'll talk to you, mister, but not here. Why not, Louis? Why not talk here? I, I wouldn't. I, I can't. It's too late. He'd know. Look, he'd find me. I got a place. A safe place uh, where he might not see me. We could meet there. Yeah, I leave now, and, and you have all the time you need to skip town. I won't light out. I swear. There's no point. I can't run anywhere. He'll find me. Please. Please. We'll talk. But not here. Anywhere but here. You better be square with me. I swear on my mother's grave. Just meet me there. All right. Tell me where the place is. I killed some time waiting to meet Louis, then headed straight over to the address he gave me. I'd never seen a crummier old building in my life. I walked in feeling certain that rat had given me a bum steer. Hold it right there! Federal agent!
SS issue. Anybody here? Hey, mister, what's the matter with you? Just a little beat is all. What are you doing here? Are you Jim Pearson? Yeah, I am. Matt told me he'd give me a nickel if I gave this to you. All right. I'm game. Here you go. Thanks, mister. Hey, what's in here? I don't know. Just like a fed. Asleep on the job. I just had the strangest dream. Yeah, that's real sweet, kid. Now if I can tear you away from the sugar plum fairies, I got a few more questions I want to ask you about Fisher's murder. Sure, detective, but uh, didn't we already cover all this at the station house? Things have changed. We found the rest of Louis scattered around Lake Erie this morning. Oh, I see. What's on your mind? Let's start with why the Torso Killer is delivering to you like he's your goddamn milkman. I don't know what the Torso Killer had to do with this. You should be looking into the gunman from the warehouse. Have you identified him yet? Kid, I'm telling you, that box was no accident. The Torso Killer was sending you a message. I want to know why. My case doesn't have anything to do with the Torso Killer. I was investigating an outfit that calls itself the Brotherhood of Fool. They're a fascist organization who may have some connection to the Nazis. What the hell do they have to do with this? You still haven't answered my question yet. Have you identified the gunman? Oh, the FBI's handling that. Looks like you'll have to talk to Winslow. Maybe you'd rather talk to him anyway. Eh? I'm not trying to be uncooperative, Detective. I've got my own case to consider. I've got to get at the facts if I'm going to make any sense out of it. And the more that I know about this gunman, the closer both you and I will be to finding out who killed Louie. All right, kid. One last question before I go. Any idea why Louie had the word Nazi carved in his chest? Huh? He what? You heard me. I don't know. That just doesn't add up. If, if Louis was working for the Nazis, but he was killed by them to keep him from talking... Louis was done in by the Torso Killer. There's no question about that. The only question is why the Torso Killer wanted to off Louis. You get at the facts of that kid, and we'll be a lot closer to finding out who killed him. You remember anything else? Be sure to tell me. Okay, hotshot? Of course, detective.
It looks like a tooth. I wonder why Louis kept it locked up. What the hell? These runes look like the ones I found in the bag. I wish I knew what Penske had been on to. Maybe his case has more to do with mine than I thought. <laughs> 